but other than surah mulk there's a many as cause and there are many ways you can do before sleeping for example you do uh subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah allah akbar wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you do this 33 time and allah akbar subhanallah 33 times alhamdulillah 33 times and allah akbar 34 times and then also you can say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah or you can just combine all these duas together subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha so continue making this zikr other than that you can do surah fatiha like as much as you can and beside that surah ikhlas as many as much as you can like most popular is is you do three times surah the class three times surah the part three times and surah the nas the three times and then finally end up with either course other than that in one of the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there is a two words which has a uh, long uh details uh of that particular verse at the end of surah bakara that is 285 and 286 that uh the verses has a special uh benefits and it has a special importance of that particular two ayahs but that that has, that requires a long time to talk about that and also the prophet said even if you recite these two ayahs the last of surah bakara it will be enough for you of all night so when he says it is enough for you for all night that's like you being protected from shaitans and you are protected by the angels that the ayah is like aman rasulu bima undila ilayhi wa rabbihi wal mu'minun qulun amana billahi wa mal so it's continue till fa ansun al kamil khafirin so you continue with that so just memorize all this duas and his khas so it keeps you protected